Hi there. Hello. This is us again. This is Duke. That's Dini. And this is Lucy. This is Lucy. You know her. Yes. <laughs> We're the Jim and Lucy Show, and we thank you so much for joining us today. And thank you for following us and liking our videos. We are really inspired by you because you are the reason why we're doing all of this and with all our free products and our paid products is all to help you build a better life i mean can you believe it i mean we started this uh, we own a management consulting company by the way called woods cover group it's been in business more than 20 years we're very very successful at it but then we decided to do that we figured that a lot of there are many so many people that don't have a they want to have a happy relationship but they don't always know exactly how to do, do so. And I personally have had a lot of trial and error at this. And Lucy came along and gave me some insights and we developed and we gleaned some ideas from the books we've read, the people we've spoken to in our consulting, as well as the things we've observed ourselves. And it, we, we, we thought that this would be a great idea for people to learn from us and so we can help them impart this into the relationships that matter the most. We're not saying that we are perfect or we know the best way or we know secret recipe. There is no secret recipe. We are not the best. Well, we are. But anyway, we are saying that if we are finding ways, tools and secrets that work for us, those might as well work for you. And that's, that's why we're here. I think they might. I mean, I have, uh, between the two of us, we actually, actually have five grandchildren, I hope I have that right this time, and five children. And we do our very best to keep ourselves in shape. But one of the things we wanted to talk to you about today is what again? Doing business together. Yes, I mean everybody's home, they're becoming, they have uh, become a remote worker. We've been remote workers for a very, very long time in our business. It started out as an online program and years ago and we improved and improved and improved and just like you you have a dream right now of bringing extra uh, source of income into your family or ideally you'd say well i would love to be able to have a business that my husband or my spouse don't have to trek to or if they're a healthcare worker and they don't have to be working kind of dangerous conditions and so on something where you feel like you can be your own boss but still work hard we work hard in a way that's meaningful for you and your family. But we want you to find ways to be able to work together because there's nothing better than teamwork. And essentially, you and your spouse, you are a team in life. And if you are willing to create this team, additional team that is work team, also build the business together or side hustle together, just something. That is very important to find to find us secret things to that, that will be work that will be helpful actually because I, I won't say it easy I've seen couples work together for years and they travel together but sometimes they reach the point that they travel separately because they need a break. I've seen it as well. Yes, <laughs> and uh, just finding things and ways and uh, routines that working for them. So we want you to find routines that work for you. For us, it's it's pretty surprising actually. I did not expect it will work that way, this way because uh, to me before it was like how is it possible to do everything together to be together 24/7? Well, it's not just possible; it's very great. Yes. Now don't misunderstand. You heard the some background noises today. You hear the cars perhaps outside. We're on a top level condo overlooking the city and I'm working on the patio today. I, it's very warm, which is unusual now. It's getting warmer and we really enjoy it quite a bit. Lucy has her office space as well. And then we, we don't send emails like we used to, but we still manage to talk and call each other, not by phone, but just speak to each other and have an idea. Or she'll rush into my office and look at what I'm working on. We work on our websites. For example, you're looking at this right now. You, you're seeing Jim and Lucy Woods. Uh, we have our own YouTube channel for them. We also have a YouTube channel specifically for our management consulting company, Woods Cove Global Group. 
So we do our coaching on our website as well as in this medium. But we do all these things and we have our own separate LinkedIn profiles. We do the marketing for both of them. We use Sales Navigator. We use all these things. And when it comes to employees, we manage to incorporate freelancers, as Lucy can tell you about, that are, have worked for major consulting firms uh, that are dealt at content development for our webinars and also for uh, delivering the webinars. So we're business, but we've learned a way to make it flexible so it works with us. And I think many recognize now that having an office, renting an office and hiring people to come to the office every work day, it's an old way. And me personally, I don't want to work, I didn't want to work this way for years now. And I'm really, really happy that we managed to build work the way we did. Because working with freelancers to me is ideal because we have international team. No one's rushing to the office, everybody has a schedule and not everybody has to have 8 to 5 schedule. Some people need to have flexible schedule. And to me personally, I've seen many, many, many times when in office people just don't use those work hours effectively. They do something, then they stop for coffee, stop for chat, stop for coffee, stop for chat. We don't want people stressing out that I'm here in office, I need to show that I'm important. Show us results, you are important. You get us results, you are important. Your hours is your business. If there is a requirement for certain hours, it is. If there is not, give us result. That is perfect to me. So the secret of working together is a you need to, two of you, if you are building business with your spouse, is that you need to agree on basis. So you need to have one picture in your mind. Because if one of you willing to build, uh, I don't know, some eco project, selling some eco bags or something online and the other ones wanted to build a rental for bikes well, i don't think those are two are very combinable i mean when we when we uh, merged our businesses it was klc group group and jim woods group when we got married we merged those two at the beginning it was like quite interesting how we're going to combine it because that was leadership consulting and strategy consulting strategy and marketing leadership and training uh, it kind of goes together to one goal but it doesn't really <laughs> yes see the pro one of the problems with that i apologize for cutting you off honey but one of the challenges we had is that perhaps you have the same one you have to do is that we are both self-empowered we, we <laughs> yeah. have we're very independent we get along very well with other people. We like being exposed to other people. Don't misunderstand because we work remotely and work at home that we don't engage other people because we still, before the pandemic, we still went out and saw people we needed to and so on. But, but what happened is that we recognized our independence that we also had to collaborate. We have to collaborate. You still have to collaborate either uh, through the internet virtually or you have to collaborate with people in the past when they came uh, to your home or they came to a local office. We had a suite. In fact, we still have an office in, in Denver. Right now we're in Europe. We like to travel quite a bit and see our clients and uh, get exposed to different cultures. And you can do that. And that's one of the beauties, at least when Lucy talks about uh, having freelance workers and all, do you realize that there's so many organizations that existed for a long time now that have top C-suite executives uh, that can do almost anything you want to have done, people with all the experience, and you don't need to have 50 employees that are sitting in a building down, uh, downtown that you're never going to use anymore, that you have to uh, change with the pandemic and all. You don't have to worry about it because people have families, they have life, they have things they want to do on their own schedule. And the bottom line is not they do fit it around my schedule. The bottom line is they complete the work. That's all I care. We just care that they complete the work. So the ground rules, A, find a common base with what you agree and what you are building together. B, find a way to collaborate, not just with your co-workers, not just with your team, but with your spouse as well. It was quite bumpy for us at the beginning. <laughs> Yes, uh, that's because I like to work, I like to bake bread during office hours. I like uh, to bake no, quite no. a bit. It, it, it was challenging, <laughs> but when you keep trying and you remember why 
heterogeneous and you respect each other, you're just looking for ways to make it work, just make it your goal. Put it in your mind, put your mind to, it, to this goal, okay? And that's how you make it work. That's right. You always have to have the end in mind. Okay, because all beginnings are difficult, they can all be challenging. But just ask yourself, what are we trying to accomplish here? And are the disagreements, uh, the little peeves, the, the habits that someone might have uh, that may bother them, it doesn't have to bother you. you. If your spouse is doing something that's not quite your nature or something that's uncomfortable, maybe she likes to, maybe, you know, maybe by chewing bubble gum and with my mouth open is something that, that annoys Lucy. Well, I don't chew bubble gum and I don't chew <laughs> my mouth open, but if it did, she would come to me calmly and speak to me about it. Ah! No, no, she wouldn't do that anymore. We had a discussion on it. <laughs> but nevertheless, you know what I mean. Just be kind to each other, be, treat each other the way you would want to be treated. And just remember the office politics you had before. Well, now you still have a still a form of politics because when both of us are working, we put our head down and we work. We may not say anything to each other for hours, but we put in 12 or 15 hour days. So, do the same thing. Just remember the end in mind and you have yourself next to someone that's important to you in your life. And there's nothing more enjoyable than bringing business in together every day and talk about your challenges and what you've been able to accomplish because you're here to change lives your family and just remember all the other people you associate with you speak with they are little families as well it is a great thing so please follow our channel we have a lot of secret tools and advice and simple hour stories from our experience that i'm pretty sure will help you because we've been there and we're gonna help you that's right Take care of yourself. Be safe.